Let me show you how you can generate a QR code for your link completely free using Adobe Express. After you log into your free account, you will see this home page. Simply scroll down a little bit until you see suggested quick actions. And you should be able to recognize and generate QR code on this list. If you cannot see it, simply click view all to see all of the quick actions. Today, we're going to use this one to generate a QR code. After you click on it, you will get this pop-up box when you can paste your link, your URL. All right, that's my link. Now I can decide about style. So we can have dots. We can have those rounded corners or even like the circles. All will work just fine. Do the border for those large dots. You can change that here. And finally, we can adjust the colors. So just a few colors to select from. And then we move to the last thing, the file format. We can download PNG, that's what I recommend. If you are more advanced users, you work with graphic design software that support vectors, you can try SVG, Scalable Vector Graphics. And that's free, that's really cool because most of those QR code generators, they charge extra for SVGs because they can be scaled up and down without losing quality. But for today, we go with PNG, download, and you will see it in your downloads folder. Here it is a large QR code for your link for free using Adobe Express. If you need a custom color, let's go with the different one. Let's go with SVG. Now we're going to download that. And you need to open this up in any vector editing software. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I will choose something that is open source and free to everybody. Take a look. That's a program called Inkscape. Inkscape is the free vector software and our SVG QR code just open up. All right. So we can select all of that and modify the color of it to any color we need. Now we don't need to just select from five different colors, we can customize the color as we need. Keep in mind, you need a proper contrast between the backdrop and the QR code color. And if you're going to print it out or post it somewhere, be sure that it's our, our at least like two centimeter high for most fonts. I know that nowadays some fonts can scan really tiny QR codes, but in the technology specification, they should be at least 20 millimeters high to get you like correct result 100% of times. All right, I hope this short tutorial was helpful and I will see you in the next one.